I'd like to call to order the Tuesday, November 3rd, 2020 meeting of the Sheboygan County Board. Are we certified in compliance with the open meeting law? The meeting was posted on October 30th at 10.30 a.m. Very good. Please join me with the Pledge of Allegiance. Next is roll call. There are 22 supervisors present. Thank you. Uh, next is the approval of the October 20, 2020 and October 27, 2020 journals. Supervisor Wagner. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I move for approval. Thank you, Supervisor Wagner. Supervisor Obler. I support that motion, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Supervisor Obler. Under discussion? Okay, seeing no discussion, please vote. Thank you. And presentations? There are none. Public addresses? Uh, David Hunig from the Town of Holland Planning Commission Chairman. You have five minutes. Good evening. I'm David Hunig and live at N533 Marine Drive in the Town of Holland. As shown on the agenda, I'm the chairman of the town's plan commission. I'm also a town supervisor on our five member town board. I'm here in support of the approval of the joint development agreement for the proposed Onion River Solar Energy Facility to be located in the town of Holland. I'd like to briefly explain why your vote tonight, what your vote tonight regards and what it does not. You are not voting on the approval or disapproval of this specific proposed project. You are not voting on a conditional use permit to impose some control over the project. You're not even voting on any regulation that would affect the placement or operation of any solar energy project. You do not have the authority to do any of these things. The state of Wisconsin stripped that ability from all local municipalities. The Public Service Commission provides the approval and control of solar energy projects. So what are you voting on? The proposed joint development agreement is a voluntary agreement between the project's developer, the county, and the town. Very importantly, it also is binding on any future owner of the project. It includes many topics that protect the local governments and property owners in the affected area. This is effective throughout the project's lifetime with specific responsibilities during the planning, construction, operational, and decommission process phases. Topics include maintenance and restoration commitments for repairing any public infrastructure damaged during the construction and eventual decommissioning of the project. Commitments for restoring private farmland to productive use after decommissioning. There are financial commitments to require financial assurances for the above maintenance and restoration commitments, including that funding is available for the expected project lifetime of about 30 years. This includes over $1 million in cash, a bond, or letter of credit within 30 days of the start of construction. There's financial commitments to ensure the local governments and school systems continue to receive funding, even though the land would become exempt from property taxes. There are communication commitments 
so the local governments and public are kept informed of the project's construction, any operational issues, and decommissioning. There are specific set guidelines and responsibility that must be adhered to for the project's lifetime. There's community and landowner commitments with defined setbacks and landscaping to improve the public safety and view, special considerations for neighboring non-participating property owners, and limitations on sound levels and glare affecting nearby residents and motorists. The Town of Holland has been working on this joint development agreement since February. We started with a JDA for a different solar energy project within Wisconsin. We then edited it substantially, adding several topics of concern to the town and incorporating suggestions from the county planning and transportation departments. We then met weekly with representatives of the developer to negotiate and finalize many points and wording. And of course, throughout the process, and under, underwent attorney reviews by the county, town, and developer. We believe the final proposed joint development agreement provides the protections we need in a fair and just manner for all parties. The county's prey and transportation committees both unanimously approved a resolution in favor of the JDA. Like any development, there are private parties in favor of and opposed to it. You may have heard or will hear of advantages or disadvantages so of solar energy projects. But none of that pertains to your decision tonight because, as I said earlier, the state removed your authority to approve, deny, or restrict any solar energy project. You must base your vote solely on the merits of having a joint development agreement to provide protections to our local governments, schools, and property owners. I'd like to leave you with one final comment. Today is election day. Tonight, across our nation, the votes of over 150 million individuals will affect the future of our country. And tonight, within this room, the votes of just you 25 individuals will affect the future of our county. Thank you for participating in local government, and please vote wisely on all matters that ever come before you. Thank you. Letters, communications, and announcements. Uh, we have a resolution from the Kiwani County Board regarding addressing the 13 water bills. We've received that multiple times before. We'll receive that for information. Next is the County Administrator's Report by Deputy Administrator Bosman. Good evening, County Board Supervisors. As you, may have, as you may have noticed, Adam Payne is not here this evening. He had contact with someone who has since tested positive with COVID and out of an abundance of caution is quarantining at home at the recommendation of public health. So you may have thought there wouldn't be a county administrator's report tonight. <laughs> However, uh, Chairman Koch and Mr. Payne thought that this would be a good opportunity for me to say a few words as the new deputy administrator. So I promise to keep it concise. For those of you who don't know, I started my career at Sheboygan County as an LTE in the Transportation Department. Uh, from there, I worked in the Treasurer and Real Property Department, then the Planning and Conservation Department, and now in the County Administrator's Office since 2016. I am very fortunate to have worked in so many different departments in the county and have gained valuable knowledge and experience in those departments. And I would like to uh, acknowledge Greg and Aaron who are here tonight, as well as uh, Mr. Payne who is not here, uh, former County Board Chairman Tom Wagner and current Chairman uh, Vern Koch for uh, guiding me along the way. In addition to this work experience, I also recently graduated with my master's degree in leadership and organizational development with an emphasis in project management. For the past couple of months, I've been busy training Peggy, who is our new administrative assistant in the office. Um, she's been doing a tremendous job. Some of you may have seen the wonderful newsletter that she sent out yesterday, highlighting some of the recent accomplishments of some, some of our departments. If you haven't had a chance to look at that yet, I, I uh, highly encourage it. I've also been assisting in the preparations and response to the ongoing pandemic and was involved in the budget development process over the past couple of months just to name a few things. Speaking of the budget, as you know, it is nearly complete at this point and shortly you will be voting on its final adoption. As in years past, through the hard work of our department heads and with your support, 
I'm happy to report that we've once again met the target that you've laid out for us. We are poised for 2021 with yet another solid budget that will allow us to continue to deliver valuable programs and services to the, the good people of Sheboygan County. Typically, following this meeting, we would all be looking forward to a party at the Elks Club to celebrate our teamwork and this tremendous achievement. However, due to the pandemic, we decided not to hold the party this year. Uh, we are hopeful that next year at this time, we'll, we, we will be able to gather together and celebrate under better circumstances. So in the spirit of social distancing, we hope that you will raise a toast tonight at home in honor of the collaboration and fiscally responsible track record that we have here at Sheboygan County. Thank you for your hard work and support. Thank you, Deputy Administrator Bosman. Next is consideration of committee reports from the Finance Committee, ordinance number four. Supervisor Gehring. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I move to enact ordinance number four. Thank you, Supervisor Gehring. Supervisor Obler. I support that motion. Thank you, Super Supervisor Obler. Is there any discussion? Seeing no discussion, please vote. Ordinance number five. Uh, ordinance number five, modifying fee schedule of medical examiner in chapter 96. Committee recommendation to also enact. Supervisor Gehring. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I will move to enact ordinance number five. Thank you, Supervisor Gehring. Supervisor Damp. I will second that. Motion. Thank you, Supervisor Damp. Under discussion? Seeing no lights for discussion, please vote. That is also unanimous. Okay, the committee report for 2020 dog listing claims. Um, that will be received for information. On consideration of committee reports, Human Resource Committee, the committee report for the annual report on health insurance will also be received for information. And committee report from the Transportation Committee, resolution number 16. Approving joint development agreement with Onion River Solar LLC for utility revenue sharing. Committee recommendation to adopt. Okay. Supervisor Gehring. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I move for adoption. Thank you, Supervisor Gehring. Supervisor Wagner. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'll second that motion. Thank you, Supervisor Wagner. Under discussion? Seeing no lights for discussion, please vote. That is also unanimous. And I will turn the gavel over to the vice chair. Good evening to you all. Uh, resolutions introduced. Resolution number 17. Approving the 2021 budget. Pursuant to county code of ordinance section 5.06A, 6, and 9, resolution number 17 will be considered for immediate action. Supervisor Wagner. Thank you, Mr. Vice Chair. I'll move for passage of resolution number 17. 
Thank you, Supervisor Wagner. Supervisor Destruti. Thank you, Mr. Vice. Motion. Thank you, Supervisor Destruti. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, would all please vote. Resolution number 18. Resolution number 18, levying and apportioning the tax. Again, pursuant to county code, uh, resolution number 18 will be considered for immediate action. Supervisor Wagner. Thank you, Mr. Vice Chair. I'll move for approval of resolution number 18. Thank you, Supervisor Wagner. Supervisor Obler. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I also support that. Thank you, Supervisor Obler. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, would you all please vote? That vote is unanimous. Resolution number 19. Uh, resolution number 19, declaration of official intent to reimburse expenditures from proceeds of borrowing. Resolution number 19 will revert to executive committee. Ordinance is introduced. Ordinance number six. Uh, establishing seed zone on County Roads A and J in the town of Rhine, County Road F in the town of Scott, and County Road TT in the town of Sheboygan Falls. Ordinance number six will refer to the law. Mr. Distruti, would you, Supervisor Distruti, would you help me with the next order of business? Thank you, Mr. Vice Chair. I'll move to adjourn. Thank you, Supervisor Distruti. Supervisor Immel. Thank you, Mr. Vice Chair. I second that motion. Thank you, Supervisor Immel. Would you all please vote? We are adjourned.